Now, if you haven't heard, a car-sized asteroid flew within 2,000 miles of Earth. In fact, much closer than that. The closest ever recorded. And NASA missed it. Is that disconcerting? Well, on August 16th, a space rock the size of a car zipped past Earth at a distance too close for comfort. Approximately 1,830 miles above the surface, a 6 to 16 foot space rock whizzed by. Even more dis disconcerting is that NASA never saw it coming. There it is. According to a report by Business Insider, it was the closest ever recorded in history. According to asteroid trackers and a catalog compiled by Sormano Astronomical Observatory in Italy, they confirmed it as well. The report said the space rock, because of its size, most likely wouldn't have posed a danger to people on the ground had it struck our planet, except that if it had struck our planet where there were people on the ground, they would have been incinerated. Now the asteroid approached undetected from the direction of the sun. That's what made it so difficult, said Paul Chodas, the director of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. He told Business Insider, we did not see this baby coming. The space rock was first detected six hours after it flew by Earth <laughs> by the Polomar Observatory in California. So it flew by, and then we, we knew it flew by. The record-breaking nature of the event was confirmed by Chodas yesterday. Close approach is the closest ever on record of any near-Earth object. According to the report, NASA is aware of only a fraction of near-Earth objects, like this one, as many do not cross any telescope's line of sight ever. And in recent years, several potentially dangerous asteroids have snuck up on scientists. If the wrong one slipped through the gaps, so to speak, in our NEO surveillance system, it could kill tens of thousands of people, millions if it hit the ocean near a major city. Now, the recent near-Earth asteroid initially called ZTF-O-DXQ is now formally known to astronomers as 2020 QG. The Business Insider report said it first learned about it from the creator of the website, orbitalsimulator.com, Tony Dunn. Now, Dunn tweeted Monday, newly discovered asteroid ZTF-0-DXQ passed less than a quarter Earth diameter yesterday making it the closest known flyby that didn't hit our planet, ever. Early observations suggest the space rock flew over the southern hemisphere just after 4 a.m. universal time on Sunday. The report said that International Astrom Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center calculated a slightly different trajectory for this object, suggesting the asteroid flew over the Pacific Ocean hundreds of miles east of Australia. Not particularly dangerous for the planet, but unnerving for locals if it would hit there. Now, according to the report, the asteroid, such as this one, would have exploded in the atmosphere. And it is, in fact, 10 times smaller than the T Tunguska event. In May 2019, NASA said it had found less than half. That's not many of the estimated 25,000 objects of that size or larger in our area. Now, we have this amazing simulator running here, which is going to show you the object in relation to geostationary satellites. Now, before we... Here is ZTF-OD-XQ coming into the picture here. I'm going to add the trails... And the, the moon is right here by this geostationary satellite. And this baby just misses the moon, which they don't tell you about. And the moon was in the picture earlier today, but they've removed it because it's right here. And, and it was much closer to the moon than it was to Earth, which I find the most shocking. Had it hit the moon and we didn't know about it, that would have been, <laughs> well... 
earth changing. So here you see the trajectory. You can see the gravitational effect of our planet and you can see it coming in between a geostationary satellite and the earth. And it didn't hit any of them. Let's just back that up just so you can see how insane this is. Now this small object, six to 20 feet wide, had it hit in a center of a town, would have taken out hundreds of people. It would have been devastating, left a deep crater, and would have impacted the locals for decades to come. So events like these are not insignificant, regardless of what the mainstream tells you. If you lived in this region when this object hit the planet, hello. If it had hit the ocean, it would have created a tsunami, which would have made it much, much worse. Luckily, it went in between the geostationary satellites and our planet, it didn't hit the atmosphere and was not sucked in or burned up. I, I know it's hard to believe that with our, all our technology, we cannot locate these space rocks. They come quick and hard. There are 25,000 objects, according to NASA, that we do not know about that could come and hit us at any time. So there's that. And then there is the subsequent simulators like this one that make you wonder why we don't have the technology to know when objects like this come into our region. I mean, we have so many satellites out there. They're pumping internet to you, but they're certainly not looking for objects that will end your life. That's insane. Hope you got something out of the video. Car-sized asteroid flew within 2,000 miles of Earth. No one knew about it. You were worried about Epstein and Biden and all that other nonsense when stuff's really about to hit the fan. You want to know more facts on how to survive and thrive in the future? Well, the Crestone Energy Fair announced the keynote speaker as me. Yeah, back in May. The Crestone Energy Fair is pleased to announce David Mariello, Oppenheimer Ranch Project, will return this year as keynote speaker for the 2020 event. If you want to watch it live for free, Go over there to the website at CrestoneEnergyFair.org and register. C come see me live or watch it on live stream anywhere in the world on YouTube or Facebook. And get the facts because the powers that be, well, they do not want you to know the facts. And that's quite clear because they have the technology to understand the facts they have the technology to warn us of incoming doom. But it's only six hours after it whizzes by the earth that they report on it. And that is crazy. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when objects are about to hit the earth that we don't know about. We are entering the grand solar minimum, the eddy minimum, during a magnetic reversal. The coming times are epic. We'll share them together and report on them as they unfold. Be safe. We love you. Check out Crestone Energy Fair online or in person. Go to CrestoneEnergyFair.org or search it on any search engine but Google. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Internet.